Hello everyone, welcome to the Spark uh, workshop. This is Lakshit Pant, your Spark uh, trainer for today's workshop. And I'll give you a quick insights about what Spark uh, looks like and how you can just get started with the uh, Spark uh, journey and how you can just step your first, put your first step in the augmented reality field. You must have heard about all these terms, metaverse, augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed reality, XR, AR, VR, there are a bunch of terms you must have heard all these before. But today I'll help you out to, you know, exactly understand what these terms means and how you can just uh, start your journey in the simplest way you can. So, so for today's workshop, what we will do is we'll make one simple basic AR effect. So before just kick starting your AR journey, I'll just, uh, I just wanted to walk you through a quick workshop for today. So I hope my screen is visible to you all. So, okay, just a second. Let me just present my entire screen first. Okay, I hope my screen is visible to you all. So in between, if you get any doubt, any query, please let me know. I'd be very happy to take up your doubts. So Spark Your Learn is an initiative by Facebook, Meta formally, um, uh, Meta Facebook formally. So now in collaboration with 3Skill, Facebook has come up with the Learn Sparkia program where they we are introducing how to get started with the Sparkia augmented reality. You can see all these filters that you can see over this carousel or this, you know, what we can say this uh, this collage. Every filter that you can make uh, over here, you can just make it over the Sparkia using the Sparkia. So Sparkia is nothing just a tool which will help you out to make all those Instagram filters. So right now, in current scenario, everyone uses Instagram, right? Everyone uses Instagram, everyone has smartphones. So everyone uses Instagram. So Spark Air basically helps you out to create those Instagram filters. This is the beauty of the Spark Air. And it's damn easy to make, you know, quickly just get started with Spark Air. Even seven class grade students, eight class grade students are just jumping, making all these superb Spark Air creations. So if you will see, this is what Learn Initiative looks like. So, you know, about the project Learn, it will help you out. Definitely, it's for you to, you know, kickstart a journey with AR. So, it's all about, you know, making uh, emerging, uh, you know, attacking text stacks in the field so that, you know, people can explore more about the augmented reality. So, there are multiple bunch of rewards and recognitions that Facebook uh, itself gives us. We are giving for this multiple hackathons for the, you know, for these initiative in the Learn Initiative. And so, and there is a very highly engaging community of Spark here and right now. So from past one or 1.5 years, Spark here has been in trend regularly because I have seen personally getting, you know, uh, evolving Spark here. When I have started, there was not, you know, so much buzz about around the Spark here, but now Spark is getting in vogue. And that's a very, really uh, great news because that's, re that's really helping out the creators to, you know, make something different to, you know, turn their imagination into the reality. Spark here is nothing, it's just like a bucket where you just pluck on the fruits and put, put in that bucket, that's it. So this is all about the Spark. There is no coding experience, no prerequisite of the Spark here. So Spark is just basically AI experiences and it belongs to a Facebook family of groups. And so far, we have, you know, 600 million plus creators who make all these constant AI creations and everything. So if I just show you this, so this is what, uh, you know, a quick overview looks like of Spark. Yeah. So just let me pause this video first. Yes. So this is what augmented reality is all about. And uh, in Facebook, uh, and then, uh, you know, Spark, yeah, we have some the amazing experiences that you can say, like you can just track your faces. You must have seen all, all those face filters. So if you will see here, this is a face filter where you are just putting, putting some virtual specs, virtual mask or virtual hat or something like that. Next there's something like word tracking capability. So you must have seen those AR filters where you are just placing something. So this is, this one is belongs to GTA family. So you are just putting GTA characters in the real life and your mom is interacting with the GTA characters. So this is what the one of the capability of the spark uh, the third one is the you know, target tracking so what this target tracking means now we are very familiar with the qr codes and you know scanning all these target tracking things so this is what target tracking capability in the spark here looks like so if you will see 
target tracking is something where you scan some qr code some you know 3d structure will pop it up or your target is fixed target image is fixed it will just scan the image and it will just do some you know creations or it will just show up some creations so this is about the target tracking the last one is body and hand tracking so it's around, it revolves around it tracks the entire body and you can just try some outfits you can just you know maybe uh, wear some shoes virtually or something like this so you can just do whatever you want this is totally up to your choice next you must have seen all those amazing creations so it's this celebrity call by taylor swift or by the rohit sharma one was very famous in india so talking to rohit sharma hey or uh, uzi or something like this i have been calling you lately something like this was very very popular in the lockdown period when this was floating and this like you scream you open your mouth the color is changing the hair color is changing and just and some sound effect is creating so you can also give me five your experiences you must have seen all those like uh, which marvel collect character do you like like you know dodge something like this move your nod something like this or you know when you smile something happens so this is what how you can just gamify your experiences with the help of spark yeah now if you will see the next thing what you can do so a virtual stage you can create some you know related to event so you can just make some give a emphasis to a event or a moment something like independence day filters you must have seen so so what is coming up like uh, you know uh, india pakistan match is coming up so that's a great that's a big big event for indian community so you must you will see some you know amazing ai creations based upon that event emphasizing the moment diwali is coming up so you will see diwali filters in your recommendation so this is how emphasizing a moment really works so now the question comes so this is this part i'll just uh, right now just skip this part i'll show you the right demo how you can just where you can just see all this now talking about we have talked about a lot of things lately like how you can just work upon i can just what the spark is all about and what are the key things now let's talk about the career opportunities that you have so definitely you can just monetize your ar effects working with the brands and creations you can just work with multiple brands so you know there are multiple brands who are not i, I would say multiple there are almost every brand is just moving after the you know metaverse or you know augmented reality advertisements because you know these are very much interactive and it's good for as a from a user's perspective so if i'm just if i'll talk about the nike's uh, you know maybe mintra's uh, virtual augmented reality or louis vuitton's you know louis vuitton has just recently created a virtual showroom where they have showcased their ar filters and ar you know ar handbags ar something like this ar you know track shoes or billy suits or something like that they have done a really amazing job now you must have you can just put some virtual nike shoes over your uh, you know shoes so you, these brands will pay you for those creations so you just make something for those brands and they will uh, give you some uh, amazing rewards for them now this now the next thing is regarding the becoming a ar ux researcher now the question comes like a ux researcher developer educator so right now i'm just you can see me i'm working as a developer and a educator so this is how it really works and you can just work with the on some projects with meta you can just teach someone it's a really great experience so yeah definitely in overall it's a very great experience you can just generate now leveraging career ar career by identifying solving so suppose uh, you find so in today's scenario ar is playing a major role in the education and in the biological industry so now you must have seen all those 2d images pictures of biological images like your intestine where you are watching your intestine and all these things now what you can do is by all these 3d creations all these augmented reality things you can just visualize all these things in a real time manner you can just scan a little bit you can zoom in zoom out uh, uh, take a close look over your intestine like how it looks like how your brain functions how your means you know uh, how your signals is transmitting over your body so all these things you can just make a good experience is using this park and now the last thing is take your augmented reality career for the maybe vr or xr so vr is something like virtual reality so will feel so that requires some external hardware devices like oculus quest 2 hololens something like this so there are a bunch of devices that you can opt and you can just make a virtual reality background environment for yourself so it's something like making a so it's a really great investment if you just go with it because and the thing last thing is xr where you just you know implement some so what lens card is done so means you can just implement some augmented reality over your web pages or over your applications where you can you can just play with the xr stuff so this is all about the spark here and this is how easy you can just make some spark effects and yeah hola guys
I'm Lakshik Pan, and today I'm just I'm taking this workshop. I've been working with uh, Sparkia since two years almost, 1.7 or 1.5 years, something like over there. And for this workshop today, I'll make sure to make one super amazing effect for you all. So hi, Devi. Maybe yeah, I I'm not I'm so sorry. I can I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Uh, maybe A. I can just say hello. Uh, so my software is not downloaded. So Devi, you can just download it later. And what you can do, you can just download it later just listen to me and try to do some you know uh, try to evangelize the things like what i'm saying and how you can just make the best out of it okay so let's get started guys i'll just quickly share okay uh, i just forgot to mention one thing now if you those who haven't downloaded what you can do is simply search for spark yeah down you can just simply search for spark your download the first thing that you will see over here spark dot facebook.com click on this link click on download button and simply after clicking on this download button you can just simply Maybe you know, just download the Spark here. And Spark here is uh, compatible with Windows 10 and above. And it's available for Mac users also, but it's not uh, uh, you know compatible with Linux users as of now. But those who are using Linux, I hope you guys can you know reboot means dual boot your laptops so that will work right. So now let's get started with the real Spark here thing. So if I'll just show you some examples over here. So if we have to see Nike, that's a virtual shoe that Nike has built. Nike has given one, you know, project to one of the creator who has built this AR. If you can see here, I just wanted Wait. to show you. Just let Did you download Grammarly? This is a virtual shoe, guys. You will see this is a virtual experience of a uh, virtual shoe. You can just make something like this. Now, if you'll just pop it out, if you want to pop it out, you can just pop it like this. Something like this. You can just pop it out, see but how many layers are there. And you can just do a bunch of things with it. And this is all a virtual augmented reality. It's not a virtual reality, it's augmented reality. Then you can just make all these experiences of your own. So for this filter, Nike filter, you know, uh, Facebook has paid, means, uh, I'm sorry, Nike has paid something around $27,000 to this creator. So this is maybe, this is a real worth of these creations. So you can just really do some amazing, amazing, make some amazing AR filters with the help of this park. And now, uh, uh, just just to be uh, you know precise, just to be just to show you one thing, I just wanted to show you this group where some amazing AR creators are creating some you know different different AR experiences. Show I just wanted to show you something. So this is also a group where there are more than six hundred people. So right now Diwali is going on, so people are making some effects related to the Diwali. So it totally depends how you are making effects, and yeah, you can see some like something like this. So these are all these all are the things that you can make with the help of this park. And this is a really great community where you can you know uh, play with your you know if you will see this video something like you can just you can do this you can just deform your surface you can just place it anywhere. This is a augmented reality, guys. So this is how you can just maybe do you can this is totally up to your choice and you can just you know. Uh, Make lots of lots of things with the help of this park here. Yeah. Now, if I'll show you some more things, make it make something like this. Something like this also filter. You can just make something like this. You can just make some experience like this. So there are a bunch of experiences you can just generally, you know, work with it along and you can just make different different experiences. With the help of this park and spark you really have a bunch of varieties that you can't imagine and you can make some really amazing filters with the help of this park here now the question comes uh now let's directly jump to the so facebook has recently uh you know focusing on this park here thing and what i have seen is facebook is really giving a uh, uh, really a good emphasis on these park here creators so facebook has recently organized one hackathon where they have given some prizes to the creator so they have organized one global hackathon so the global hackathon was you know there was prizes for top 500 and if i'll tell you the prize for uh, you know uh, top one so those who got secured the first position tobias secured the first position he got uh, 15000 dollars i'm sorry 20000 dollars that was 20000 dollars for making one ar filter for making one Instagram AR filter, he got $20,000. Second one got 
fifteen thousand dollars, thousand got ten thousand dollars, and this goes on and on till rank five hundred. And even the who secured rank five hundred have also got three hundred dollars in Indian rupees. Three hundred dollars is something around. Uh, it's uh, something around twenty four hundred or twenty three hundred something around like this. So this is the beauty of this park here. Needs fifteen thousand or something like this. This is about all the beauty of this park. I can just generate a great great amount of money with the help of Spark here. I can just do freelancing stuff like you know. So the group just I have just shown to you the Spark here community. You can just post whatever you are making, and brands will directly approach you. You just don't have to you know reach out to those brands for an, as a freelancer. You can just directly post your creations over there. Make a good portfolio of yours. Bring the that finish in your Spark here filters. And definitely, the brands will likely approach you for some amazing AR creations now. So, what we will do? We'll just uh, now we'll just jump off to this podcast after I go. You guys have so I have given uh, ample time to you. You know, make download this podcast. Now we'll just deep dive into this podcast. So let's do this, guys. So now, if I will show you this, okay. So. Hello, Pranav. Hello, everyone. Yeah. So I hope you can see this Spark here workspace. So this is what Spark here studio looks like, guys. There are a bunch of things over here, and let me tell you. Let me give you a quick overview of, of about everything. Like, what are these things, and why are these things are here? So you will see the create new something. So it's obvious. Like when you want to create something new, you can just click on the create new blank project something. When you want to build a project from very scratch, you can just click on the brand. Blank project. So, so, and the next one, change experiences. So, it's something uh, when you, you know, uh, you are making uh, AR effects for Instagram and Facebook use cases. Then you can just go with the sharing experiences. The last one is video calling speed effects. So, I hope you all are aware that Facebook and Messenger do support video calling feature. So, you can just make some AR effects for them too. So, okay, so this is all about the experiences. Next thing is template. So I hope you guys understand what the word template means. So I just think the resources that has been provided to you. So I'll search for the uh, so a template is something that a form or a sample, something kind of a pattern that has been given to you, so that you can just you know your process could be smoother. So Here in the word of the Spark AI template, something the resources that has been provided to you so that your process could be smoother. So suppose today I'll teach you one uh, face filter, and tomorrow you get the idea that you want to make a game uh, using the Spark AI. Now how you will create that game? So you can just choose between you have you have a choice of choosing between these two three games where you can just pin and place all your textures, and you can just make a game of your own. So this is all the beauty of the Spark AI. Everything in the Spark is so easy that uh, you know, a uh, uh, school student or even around approximately thirteen, fourteen year guys are also doing all these amazing creations. So if you will see, you can just click on any of these templates. Something if you want to put a mask on your face, you can just put it, simply click on the mask template, and you will see the magic over here. This is how the face mask uh, template it really looks like. So if you will see now, maybe uh,
Uh, I'm really sorry, guys, for the technical glitch. My, you know, uh, I just forgot to plug in my charger, so maybe that created some issues. So I was telling you about the spark here. Yeah. I was showing this, showing. Uh, I was teaching about this template. So let me quickly open the template right here. So and uh, I'm just okay. I am not presenting my screen right. So let me just quickly present my screen also. Perfect. It's visible now. So if you will see over here. You can just click on any of these templates. Suppose I want to put a face mask on my face. I, I can just simply click on the face mask and you will be able to see, you know, a uh, spark your workspace where you can just play around with your creativity, with your ideas. And uh, this is what spark your workspace is in the real time similar. You can see right now, I'll just put this, okay. I just make it make this invisible so that you can you know you can see this. So this is me guys in the real time simulator. So face uh, in a Spark app allows you to try and test your filter on a real time basis, like how it's looking on your face, how it's looking on some other face. You can just try and test it out. So this is how the mask is looking on my face. Now whatever you want to do is just you know maybe you can just replace this mask with any of the masks that you want to put on your face. This is totally your choice what you want to put on. Suppose right now I'm just discarding this. So this is totally your choice what you want to put on and something like if you want to distort your face. So you can just distort your face also something like this. So I'll teach you by distorting this. So you can see over here. Okay, you can see this is how. So uh, right, you can see a different, uh, you know, Maybe this could be a different experience for you all. So I'm just going to scale the eye size. I'm just going to increase the mouth size. So you can see this, how this is doing with me. I was just, you know, So this is how simply you can just distort your face by playing with all these creations, changing some numbers over here. You can just simply distort your face and push this thing into your Spark your Hub. So this is how simply you can just do this and it's all about, the rest is all about your creativity, your, you know, you can see this. Uh, so what I will do, I'll just, So I was about to do this. So I, I'm just, what I'm doing is simply, you know, uh, giving some a texture to my color so that it could look a little bit different. Maybe this is how you can just simply distort your face and publish this AR filter. Now the question comes like, uh, so if you have, uh, can you please ensure your internet connection is working nicely? Uh, praying my internet connection is working very nice. I'll just show you the, maybe you can just check yours because my internet connection is very, it's working damn good. You can see the speed. Uh, so I'm on Wi-Fi train, so my internet connection is working good. So you can just check yours once because it's 190 Mbps for me. Yes, and 280 Mbps. I assume 280 Mbps is a really, really good thing for Spark Air, right? So maybe you can just check yours once. Now, okay, so now it's fine, perfect. So I was telling you about this. So. Today, I'll, I won't be sure you can just click on any of these templates and play with all these templates. But today, I'll teach you how to create an AR effect from very scratch. So you have to click open your Spark AR Studio and click on this middle one uh, tab, the sharing effect where you can see your 
Instagram and Facebook. Now you can see, you will see something like this. So there are some basic generic terms that I will teach you here. We call this thing, the rectangle that I'm moving right now, we, we call this a real time simulator because here you can just check your real time simulation, like how the filter was, the filter is all about how it's looking on your face and everything. Now this rectangle now, which I'm just pulling it out, zooming in and out, we call this a viewport. You can see viewport is written here. We call this thing a viewport, right? Viewport like the simply viewport will be Now you can see this, this thing over here, we have scene is written. We call this entire thing a scene panel. Here asset says written. We call this assets panel. Here properties is written. We call this a properties panel. So this is all about the spark here. Some basic terminologies that I just wanted to teach you. Now let's get started with today's filter. So what we are going to make today is, is just, you know, uh, what you can make today. Okay, we can put some emojis on our face, right? So let's put some uh, emojis as well as some tattoos over our face so that, you know, it could look better. So first put, put some uh, face mask. So I'll just put some face mask. You can see it is just tracking my face right now. It's just tracking my face. Because the face tracker is here. Now, why? You can see over here, as I'm moving my face, this mesh is also moving with me. Suppose if I'm moving my face left, right and down, up and down. So this mesh is also moving with me. But as soon as I just put this face mesh out of the face tracker, you can see the mesh will, mesh will remain still. It won't be moving. And you can also make a simple AR filter like this, like given a texture to your material like this and you can just simply make there something like this also so okay you can just make something like this also so this is i'm just uh kidding with you guys you can just play with this like this So for today's filter, I'm just not going to do this. I'm just going to use some basic, uh, you know, this is, so this is what I uh, wanted to teach you. Like the, you have to understand the chronology also. The face mesh should be inside the face tracker, right? Now was the next step is to add a material to your face mesh. Now, what does this material mean? Excuse me. So this material is something like, so you can assume my body as an object. My clothes are the materials and the color of these clothes is this texture. Just assume with this as a simple example, my body is the object. My clothes are the material and the color of these clothes is the texture. Now, if you will see over here, I'll just add some material means. I'll give some clothes to my AR filter. So I'll just give some clothes to my AR filter by like this. So you can see I have given white, gray, gray kind of clothes to my AR filter. Now, there are a bunch of things over here. So, so if you will see, there are a bunch of shader type properties are over here. Like shader, physically based, face paint, blended. So I'm just, I'll just teach you what are the use of all these properties. So flat is something when, when you want no reflection. Flat is used when there is no reflection. If standard is used where there is, uh, you know, flat is something for opaque systems, opaque surfaces. Okay. Standard is something for, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, that reflects the light a little bit. Standard properties used there. Now, physically based. So, physically based is something that, so when your AR filter depends on your physical presence, like where you are physically present in the environment that matters then you are going with the physically based. So something like suppose right now I'm sitting in a room, if I'll go outside, there is a sunlight. So there will be a difference between this, the sunlight and this artificial uh, lighting. So definitely my presence matters a lot for AR filters. And when you have to define it, when you have to play with your physically based, when you have to deal with it, you can just go with the simply physically based. Now we'll see the next thing is blended. So, 
can just increase the metal metallicness roughness okay let's start now if we'll see the face paint the face paint is something like it will just paint your face like this now you can just choose the color option from here now you can see something like this i have just given a color to my face it's something like green green color so i so likewise you can just do bunch of things with your ar effect creations okay so the next question comes about the brightness you can just play with all these things as much as you want using the advanced render option so this is what face paint looks like like you are painting your face now next thing is blend so what does the blended means blended is quite similar to the face paint but here uh, the color which has having a major property of appearing comes first so something like you know if you want to make a mango shake so there milk is of white color and the rest of the ingredients like the putting so if you want to put if you are putting mangoes in all these things that differs by taste so this is you are just putting all those things blending everything and mixing everything when you are mixing everything then you have to go with the uh, blended one okay you have to mix mix all the texture next is shader is shader you can just click on shader create shader ui assets and it can just give you another shader and you can just play with all the shader assets using this park here now if you will see the last one is retouching so retouching is something where so retouching is something your it smooths your skin you can see it's it is smoothing my skin like this so this is all about the you know spark your basic things excuse me sir but do we have to create these texture or do we have pre made pack of textures if no hari shori you can get all these texture for free so uh, uh, first of all let's first answer hashi question okay so hashi is asking excuse me sir but do we have to create these texture yes so shori definitely have to create sometimes you have to create these texture but you can also use any texture from google it's it's free means it's fine if you are using any texture from google also okay and if you now it totally depends if you are using any image if you can just use pixpixels.com or indiapix.com or if you are using if you want any 3d textures you can use sketchfab or mixamo with if you want animations also so these are some of the sites that you can just work with now the last, next question is of uh, jada sir how to increase the font size like my ui okay okay so maybe kishpra you are using a 15 inch laptop i guess that's why it's uh, happening for you because for me uh, i'm using a 30 inch means a 30 inch laptop so that's why i can just increase so it it fits if it's looking something like this you can just if means if if it's covering a small screen you can just go to this come to this like increase the size by scaling it you know maybe something like this you can just do whatever you want something like this okay yeah exactly that's what i understood already because that's happened so i i assume it is coming in a very small screen in your laptop you can just go to maximize button and just maximize your screen or you just scale it the spark app in a bit so now the next thing is uh okay so we have given a material so what we want to give this material so what we can give this a material so let's give it retouching only okay because i i want some skin smoothing so let's make it retouching only now what you can do you can just simply so this is also one more filter that you can just publish You just publish right here, but I'm going to show you some more capabilities of the Spark here. Yeah. The Spark can can really do, and it will really help you out to build something awesome. So that's why I'm just trying to tell you this.
Now what you can do, you can just simply import a plane right here so that you can just put some tattoos on your face or something like this. Now you will see. I want to, you can see again, I put it this plane inside the face sticker. I can just pull it up simply like this and I can just put something on my forehead also. So if I want to put some tattoos over my forehead, how can I just, I can just simply drag and drop my left from my laptop. You can see over here. I'm just using my laptop right here. So So, 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 I'm just, so if I will just use this image, samosa.net chai, I can just put it right here. I just dragged and drop it down into this pocket. This is how you can just simply do it. Now you can just simply give a name to your plane, something like, you know, maybe four head plane. And as I mentioned earlier, now we have, we have to give some clothes to our plane, our object. So we'll just add some clothes. You will see another material is here. Now you can just choose the image that you brought, something like this. Now if you want to make it brighter, go to the flat. If you don't want any kind of, so you can see it has appeared on your forehead. You can just place it wherever you want you want to place it place it right right here you can just place it right here also whatever wherever you want to place it you can just place it right there this is all about the spark PR and this is how you can just simply create a basic ar effect now if anyone has any doubt please let me know in the comment section okay great so next thing that we are going to do is uh Now let's add some, uh, maybe a meter we can do, or I'm just trying to create some good experience for you also. I'm just duplicating these emitters and I'll assign just a one texture to all of these emitters. Like first of all, I'll just make it, uh, Line maybe. And you can just give it a different sphere like this, like this. And I'll just uh maybe material one, choose that sphere, flat, something like uh okay. Now I have to really decide the texture of this park here. How can just decide the texture of this park here thing? It just basically, uh, so it is, okay, I'll just give some, assign some color to it, okay? Maybe something like this. Now, uh, what I will do, I'll just, decrease the opacity of this. So how I can just decrease the opacity, you can see over here. Like this, I can just uh, play with the size and I, I can just select, click on any of these and you know, you can just uh, in increase the depth rate by 10. I can just increase the speed by 0 0.05. Maybe maybe zero point zero three. I can just you know uh, increase the lifespan of these AR filters. Can you guys see the lifespan thing? Okay, here is lifespan. I can just make it three seconds. Now we will see some. Okay. I can just place this null object outside of the face tracker and copy these things and 
put these inside the null object like this. Now what I can do is basically I can just increase the lifespan of all these AR effects a bit more. So what I'm going to do is um maybe uh five seconds. Now I'm just making some little little adjustment which will really help your AR filter to look good, to appear good in front of people where you are just showcasing your work. Now you can just put this null object, okay. Something like this. You can just put whatever you want. This is totally your choice. You can just change between switch between these videos, real time simulations where you are just placing all your things. So suppose something like this. You can just switch between now. You can see these emitters are flowing out and you no. Know, so it's basically colliding the faces. So I can do something like this. And uh, I can also mm, decrease the size of the material opacity too like this how to put image on the forehead so putting an image on a forehead is damn easy so i'll just show you this uh, i'm just deleting uh, so what you can do is basically i'm just putting one more object you can just simply search for the plane here is a plus button in the your scene panel you can just click on the plus button search for the plane and click enter as soon as you will click enter you will see this now what you have to do is just put this inside the face tracker first because it should track inside our face. So now you have to click on add material and you have to choose what material you want. Suppose I want this material, I'll get this. So if I just don't want this material, I'll get this. I'm just waiting for this thing to uh, completely reload as soon as it gets wrapped up. And if you guys have any doubt or query, please let me know in the comment section. I'd be very happy to take up your doubts. Now the next thing, now you can just place it like this wherever you want. If you want to place it like somewhere over here, you can just place it downstairs also, means down here also. So this is totally your choice how, and also this one if you want to place, I can just put this thing over here. Now we can just switch between all these, you know, That's great. So you can just simply choose the flat option. Jada. Okay, you might be asking the material thing. So I'll just show you the thing from very scratch. So let me just delete all these things. So Jada, I'm just showing you again that step. So you just have to click on spark care effect, sharing effect. And next thing is that you have to do is uh, uh, just search for the play. Okay, as soon as you will search for the plane, this plane comes up. Then you need a face uh, tracker. So face tracker is also need insert. 
Now put this plane inside the face checker like this, drag and drop it inside the face. Now you'll see it is moving my head. Select your plane and in the right hand side of your screen, there is an option called material. Click on that material option, uh, plus option uh, in the front of material and you will see your color will change. Now go to your material and go to your textures. Choose the texture file to the file that you have imported. So suppose uh, if I just see who have imported So you can just choose any image, something like this, something like this, and put it inside the face spark here like this. Now what you can do is simply click on your material, select those, select that image, and you will see that image over here. This is how simply you can. And this is all about the spark here. And just now clicking on this plus icon, Click on your plane, you can just place it wherever you want, something like this. There are a bunch more things like opening mouth and every advanced capability. So please, I'll just highly encourage you guys to please make the AI effect till here. And I'm giving you oh, a seven minutes, uh, a, a short break. And we'll just jump after this break. I'll just take your 10 minutes more after the break to complete the workshop. Make your effects still here. And after that, we'll just make one more. I'll just, I'll teach you how to publish your effect. The last 10 minutes are the most important because that is the only thing that will help you out to, uh, you know, make your AR filter published in the Spark Air Hub. Because by that only you can just submit your Spark Air, Spark Air, you know, all these, uh, files and everything you can just see this something like this so let's wait for a couple of minutes and we will just start again i will require your 10 minutes again after some time okay guys Uh, perfect. Now I hope you all have created your AR effect till here. So the question comes like, now we have created your AR effect in your laptop. How to make the AR effect public? Suppose if you have created this AR effect now, how to make it public? So I'll just close this one. I'll just open any random one from my laptop. Now how to make this AR effect public? So there, these are the questions that comes to our mind and how to make all these things. So there is a very basic, uh, you know, uh, step that you need to follow in order to you know make your AR effect public so something like this uh, okay you just you can just simply do something like this okay. So uh, you can just do something like this, like playing with your creativity. I'll just show you how to publish your AR effect. So the effect that you have already created, just open those AR effects and then suppose this is the effect you have created. So now what you can do, you can just simply click on the publish button. You can just simply click on the publish button. And after clicking on this publish button uh, in the right hand side of your screen you can just click on the record video option as soon as you will just click on this record video option it will start it will just open a camera for you you just have to record a demo video of yourself it should be under five seconds it should not be more than five seconds it should five seconds is enough just count on your hands one two three four five that's it that is enough 
and you have to record a demo video of yourself and let it prepare then you have to just click on the save then upload so let's prepare for this what you have to do just click on the publish button click on record video record a video of yourself click on the save and click on upload now it has started uploading so let's wait for this to completely upload it on spark your hub so you can see i have created this ar effect recently means uh uh, maybe something uh, like uh, I was trying to create some AR effect for some basic understanding. So I just tried to make this Diwali effect. So you can see this. So now you can see Sparkar Hub will open in front of you. Now what you have to do is uh, you have to give a unique name to your AR filter. You have to give a unique name. So suppose you have created this filter, you can just give it a glow, glory, something like this. Any name you can just give. And if if you are if your Facebook account is not linked with Instagram account, you, are, you can just switch the Instagram here. If your Facebook account is linked with your Instagram account, you can just open it like this. Rest, uh, my account is linked. You can just see it right over here if it's linked or not. You can see if your account will be linked, it will show here. If it is not linked, it will show link your accounts. Okay. Now, the next thing is you have to choose some categories. So, I'll just choose appearance, selfie, love categories. And I can just simply click on the submit button. You can just simply click on the submit button. And this is how simply you can just publish your AR effect. So now if you'll see. So these are the bunch of things that uh, I have done. So uh, you can just play with it and you know, make it make whatever you want. Suppose I'll just click on this AR effect. So after clicking on this, you will see something after publishing, you will see your AR effect, something like this. So in so I'm just sharing some links to you. So there is one feedback form link. There is one Google form link that you have to fill in order to get your meta certificate. Until unless those who want to connect with me on LinkedIn, you can just connect with me over LinkedIn as well. This is my LinkedIn profile guys. In future, if you get any doubt, any query, anything in your mind, you can just connect with me over LinkedIn. I'd be very happy to take up your doubts. Same means uh, I'm quite active with my socials. And also, uh, okay. You can just connect with me on let's connect over Twitter also. This, so these are my LinkedIn, these are my social profile. You can just connect me over here and I'd be very happy to connect with you all. In future, you are getting any doubt and query. You can just text me whenever you want. I'd be very happy to take up a doubt, to solve your doubts. Maybe if we won't, uh, you know, there are a bunch of things in the spa. Guys. There are some infinite possibilities in the spa. Guys. So we will just try to create the best AR effect we can. And I'll just suggest you the best way. And in, in case you are just willing you are just looking somewhere to you know uh if you are looking somewhere to you know make ar as your full-time career you can just go with all these properties so i'll just share these links with you also here is two more important links that you have to follow so this is the submission form link and this is the feedback form link so submission form so when it comes to the submission form link so this is the submission form link guys you can just click on the submission form and you can just fill your submission so just understand these things. There are some basic terms that you have to keep in your mind while submitting your AR form. So if I'll just show you this. Uh, this is the Google form that you can see GFSC University. So you can just fill your name, your email. Kindly mention your exact name. Don't fill your usernames of Instagram or Facebook had like killer boy or you know mega megatron or something like this. Just fill your real name, suppose Mohit, something like you know, maybe. Kesh Prajada, uh, or maybe some people who have who were there, Shori Hashi. So you can just fill, you have to fill your real name so that you know in your name will be, uh, you know, uh, this name will appear on your certificate, meta certificate. And fill your email correctly because you will be getting an email from Facebook for making your ARs, uh, first AR effect and you will get your certificate from Facebook only. Okay, fill your contact number. So if there will be an issue with your creation, Facebook will try to contact you. College, your college name. Now, how to get to this Facebook profile URL? So, for this purpose, you can just simply search for facebook.com and ask after you just click on the facebook.com, you will see something like uh, this thing. Okay, so you can just click on your account thing, click on your name, and copy this URL bar. Copy this URL bar and paste it in the Facebook profile URL. Now, the next thing is effect URL. How to get your effect URL? You can just simply open the Sparkar Hub. There is an option called share. 
after you, you submit publish your ERF, there is an option called share with com. You just simply click on your share option, click on this link, paste it in the Google form in the effect URL option. Now the question comes for the effect ID and owner ID. Again, go to the Spark Care Hub, click on these three dots in the top right hand side of your screen and click on copy effect ID, paste, paste effect ID here like this. Again, same thing, click on three dots, click on owner ID, paste it like this, like this. Choose a date of submission like this today and click on submit. You will be able to submit your AR effect and you will get your meta certification in a couple of days. So this is all about the Spark Air. This is how you can just simply make your Spark Air effects. And those who have any doubts, we have some time left with us. If you have any doubt or query, please let me know. I'd be very happy to take up your doubts or I'd be happy to solve them. Okay. So it's given any time, guys. Please let me know if anyone has any doubt or query. So links are in your screen and you can just share your doubts too. Now, so I'd be, I'm looking forward for your responses and let's see how many people, and suppose if you make any ER effect in future, so do tag Meta, do tag Facebook, create a LinkedIn post for that, do tag, you know, all these big, big MNCs and everything, because that will really help you out, you know, do tag all these people because this will help you out to make all these spark your filters. What is the deadline for submission? So the deadline for Harshal, you can just submit it right now also. You can just submit multiple times also. It's totally your choice. And the deadline is something uh, around Wednesday. So 12 of... So you can just submit, you can just... Uh, the deadline is 12th of October. You can just publish it until 12th of October. That's the deadline for this submitting your AR effect. When you will get certificate? That's a really great question. So, you know, uh, Kushu. So, you know, certificate uh, means it takes approximately 30 to 45 days to get your verification by means every filter that you create is very well verified by Facebook. So suppose because Facebook has some really strong policies upon the Spark Air creations and you can't publish some you know, hate speech or some new sexual content or some nudity over your Spark Air filters. So you have to keep this in your mind while making your ER effects. So Facebook is very strict with this. So they will verify each and every filter that you create. So it will take approximately maximum 30 days. It will take until you will get your certificate under 30 days. So this is all about the you know certificates. Anyone has any other doubts? Please let me know, guys. Any other thing you have in your mind? And just don't forget to mention you know tag reskill. Don't forget to tag you know Facebook, Meta, and some. Meta folks that you really know and some influencers when you are making some ER effects because that will really help you to get these insights. So you will see these are the insights that I got in the last 28 days and you can just get some insights like this also. So this is all about the Spark here. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. And start your journey from today only. It's something, you know, it will hardly take an hour. So if you are just investing in half an hour in your Spark here every day, it's just more than enough. So this is all about the Spark here, guys. Thank you for joining in. I really enjoyed the session. Facilitating you all. You are really a nice audience. So thank you guys. Thank you for having me here. And see you soon, guys. Happy learning. Happy creations, guys. Spark is everywhere. Thank you, guys.